Sarah, also known as Budget Girl here on the internet. Welcome to my channel. And I have for you today a tour of my freshly finished and renovated 1984 holiday Rambler RV that I'm turning into a short-term rental. I've worked really hard on this over the past three months, so let's go check it out. First, I did want to show you real quick. We painted an Aggie maroon stripe, and this cool little thing was gifted to me by my best friend Jamie. It was perfect and it actually fixed a problem that we had where this was an open vent for the original fridge and new fridges don't need a giant hole to the outside to vent from so this actually solved a huge problem. Come on in. Also these steps were made by a local craftsman. I love them. Now we're inside. This is just 200 square feet of space and we actually picked it up from Searcy, Arkansas back in October and the people who had been working on it had already done a ton of the work in here. They had pulled out the booth, pulled out the walls, shiplapped everything and gotten rid of all the old leaks and done all the really, really tough, gritty, grimy stuff. So I was able to kind of come in and do just about $10,000 worth of work to get the electricity done, put in a new hot water heater and kind of put in furniture and set it up for an Airbnb. Also, the original cost was $4,200. All in, I'm at about $14,000, $14,500. I'm gonna crunch the numbers soon and let you know. So this is the living room area. So we actually snagged this burrow modular sofa from a friend at work who was selling it because she wanted to upgrade to an article one, not sponsored, but we were actually able to take this apart and put it in here. And when I tell you, it fits with like an inch of space to spare. It is absolutely perfect. These little quilt squares are from a local artist. I tried to put as much Texas and Aggie themed stuff in here as I could. Um, I even thrifted a bunch of A&M themed games. There's Aggie Monopoly or Aggieopoly, Texas A&M Checkers, Texas Trivia, and other really fun stuff for people to do while they stay here. I found this really, really cool, obviously handmade little table at a Goodwill for $12. And I've also stocked a bunch of Texas themed books for you to peruse while you're here. I have a smart TV and it's actually movable. So you can watch it from anywhere in here, which I find really cool. Sign in to uh, several Agwagon uh, streaming accounts and peruse to your heart's desire. Over here we have the dinette, which I actually love. If you saw the original tour of this, which I will link below, this table was already here. I stained it in a red mahogany stain and I absolutely love how it turned out. And the previous owners had actually already ordered these camel cushions, which I used to bring that throughout the entire space. I love them. Up here, I have some more vintage Aggie memorabilia and some books. And of course we have a little mini stuffed rev. You need a dog. I also tried to incorporate some cactus theming throughout. So we have cactus salt and pepper shakers. And I have this Instax camera, once again in the camel, which I'm going to leave with photos in it for people to take pictures and bring home a physical souvenir. I went to a wedding once and the photographer gave us all the bridesmaids a little Instax group picture. And I've treasured that to this day. So I thought it would be really nice to have a instant physical memory of your vacation here. And uh, yeah. And if you want, you can even leave a photo in the guest book. Over here, we have some other vintage Aggie stuff. And if there's something to celebrate, cactus glasses. In the tiny little kitchen here, we actually have everything you need to cook a meal. So I have a really nice Dutch oven and a couple pots and pans. We've got silverware, baking ware, a little coffee setup. I'm actually stocking local Texas pecan coffee. It is my personal favorite, along with tea and hot chocolate and that kind of thing. Got a full array of spices, including Montreal chicken, which is my personal favorite. And you also have a stove that you can use. I handpicked every single thing to go in here down to the silverware, which I absolutely love. And I'll actually have everything that I bought for this camper from like Amazon linked down below. Down here you have uh, the original double-sided sink, trash can, fire, and there's a tankless hot water heater down there so you will never ever run out of hot water. Up here I've stocked plenty of snacks because I love snacks, um, as well as coffee paraphernalia, honey, and then here we have some really nice, just very modern kind of stoneware. And I also have some really cute Texas a and themed cups that I thrifted, as well as some little bowls. And then over here, you can play a fun pick your coffee mug game. I have been thrifting 
Aggie and vintage Texas coffee mugs since before I even bought the trailer. So friends themed mug. Kitchen also has a brand new microwave and a brand new fridge and freezer. And I guess let's come on back to the bathroom. So I really love the way this camper is laid out. Um, it's lucky enough to have a full bathroom that actually feels really spacious. I managed to fit in a full length selfie mirror here. And as you can see the little cactus theme throughout. So come on in. Here you have a full, <laughs> I don't know if it's full, but it's an entire shower in here that is plenty of room for you to fit in. I've stopped shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and this comes off so you can spray everything. Um, I've been in there, it's comfortable even for me. Full vanity sink here, and if you forget anything, I have fully stocked this with anything you might have forgotten. We also have some maroon Turkish towels, and if you've never tried Turkish towels, you're missing out. I thought it'd be really nice for the space. These are huge bath sheets that are super absorbent and so soft, and I've got them for anyone who stays, as well as makeup cloths and all sorts of stuff. The toilet and the shower are actually really normal for a camper. You don't have to do anything other than flush, and you don't have to worry about any of the tanks. It's all set up for perfect ease of use. In here, we have a access closet, so you can hang up any dresses or anything like that. And back here is the bedroom. Okay, so we managed to fit a short queen in here with, as you can see, a little access area so whoever's sleeping on the inside can climb in and out. That's a real pet peeve of mine with campers or trailers where somebody's like shoved into this little corner and they would have to climb over their partner to get out. We also have these really cute little blackout curtain blinds which you just drop down and bring back up so you can black out everything if needed. Um, this piece is also by a local artist, semi-local. We drove like an hour to get to it, but it was Texas made. And the side table lightings is one of my favorite things. On that side, the uh, there's a small shelf to plug in your phone and leave it there overnight so you don't have to reach around for it in the middle of the night. So this is one of the things we spent the most time and money on. This used to be a very large panel with the electric in it. And I actually went through two electricians. The first one kind of scammed me. The second one fixed me up so that you can use as much electricity as you want here and nothing's ever going to flicker or blow out. All the electric panel stuff is under here as well as like some night things like a sound machine and some earplugs and it's a 50 amp. So you have 50 amps to use in this tiny little trailer. And we also made it into a side table. I also got this cool cactus wallpaper, which I really, really love. I think that this 200 square foot space feels a lot bigger than that. And I had a lot of fun <laughs> putting my personal spin on this space. And I hope that it will become a profitable short-term rental adventure. If nothing else, it gives friends and family who are visiting me a place to stay. And honestly, I'm really, really proud of this place. If you would like to see what the place looked like before, I'll have that video linked below. And I have vlogs coming up with the whole process of converting it. I just wanted to get to you the finished product as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe if you like multiple streams of income and wealth building for normal people. Uh, don't forget to like this video and tell me what you think of the Ag Wagon. Also, the Ag Wagon has socials. You can follow them. They will be linked down below. And if you ever want to stay here, I'll drop the Airbnb listing as well. All right. Um, thank you guys so much for coming on this tour. I hope you love it as much as I do. And I'll see you next time. Bye.